Hello and welcome to Celebrity Reporter. In this video, we will be looking at classic Hollywood movie stars' houses. You're familiar with their films and relationships, but what about the places they called home? Old Hollywood stars used to take over the Golden State, one mansion at a time, buying properties in Encino, Beverly Hills, Brentwood, Palm Springs, and other areas. Some had estates built just for them, while others purchased existing houses and transformed them into their own. Get ready for a few surprises as we take a look at the homes of old Hollywood's biggest legends. From Judy Garland's rustic Bel Air house to Jane Mansfield's pink Mediterranean-style mansion. Jane Mansfield Jane Mansfield reinvented the color pink when she purchased this Mediterranean-style home for $76,000, around $650,000 today, in 1958. She and husband Mickey Hardigay transformed the estate into the Pink Palace, complete with a heart-shaped pool and bathtub. Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe rented this Hollywood Hills home for $237 a month, back in 1952. She was seeing Yankees baseball player Joe DiMaggio at the time, and the two spent a lot of time there. Monroe and DiMaggio married and divorced, but reconciled before her 1962 death. Years later, a professional Marilyn Monroe impersonator and her husband bought their iconic home in 2019 for $2.7 million. Marilyn Monroe's Brentwood home was the only property she ever owned. She first purchased the 23,200-square-foot property for $75,000 back in 1962. Sadly, the same year she bought the home, Monroe was found dead inside of it, just a few months later. In 2017, it sold for $7.25 million, with the closing deal one day before what it would have been her 91st birthday, Frank Sinatra. Old Blue Eyes had this gorgeous Palm Springs estate called Twin Palms, specially designed for him in 1947. How much did it cost? Only $150,000, which is about $1.9 million today. Celebrities from every aspect of the industry frequented Twin Palms in the golden age of Hollywood. In fact, Sinatra would often hang a Jack Daniels flag to signify to his famous friends that they should come over to party. Joan Crawford Joan Crawford purchased this Brentwood, California estate for $57,500 in the summer of 1928. The actress named the house El Jodo, a combination of her name and the first name of her then-husband, Douglas Fairbanks, Jr. She lived there for nearly three decades. The starlet installed several features while living in the home, including a pool house, theater, and extra-large dining room. Over the years, the historic home has been sold and purchased many times, with previous owners spending thousands on renovations. In January 1996, it sold for $1.5 million. Judy Garland Judy Garland's rustic Bel Air home was built in 1938, one year before she skyrocketed to fame in The Wizard of Oz. In 2011, it sold for $5.2 million, was flipped, and sold again the following year for $6.7 million. Garland and her mother played a big role in planning the design of the home, working with professionals to create her own slice of New England in sunny California. A warm brick exterior and inviting front porch were both added. Her mom's touch? Yellow beach umbrellas in the backyard. Clark Gable Here's an interesting tidbit of old Hollywood history. Clark Gable moved into Mickey Rooney's former Encino home in 1939. He and wife Carol Lombard bought the house for $50,000. In 1939, 
Gable lived happily in the ranch home until his wife's passing in 1942. While he never sold it, he rarely visited due to grief. In October 1977, financier Michael Milken bought the property for $587,500. Shirley Temple When the young actress was just five years old, her family bought this quaint Santa Monica bungalow. In 2014, the estate sold for $2.5 million. However, as Temple's career began to take off even more, the family grew worried about their privacy and had kidnapping concerns. They moved again, this time to Los Angeles' Brentwood area, and installed a top-notch security system with sensors that linked to the local police station. Jimmy Stewart In 1949, Jimmy Stewart bought this home on Roxbury Drive in Beverly Hills. The actor and his wife, Gloria, raised their children here and lived at the estate for the next 50 years. In 2018, the property was listed for $47.9 million. The former home of Stewart, he's seen here enjoying a movie in his living room, was purchased shortly after his death in 1997. However, it was demolished, and in its place, a lavish mansion was constructed, with Italian-style features, a white marble foyer, and perfectly manicured park-like grounds. Errol Flynn Throughout the 40s, Errol Flynn's 11-acre Mulholland farm was the place to be. The land has since been split into seven lots with extravagant homes, one of which sold for $7.9 million back in 2013. Flynn's estate was unlike any other. It was filled with secret passageways, a casino, peepholes, and two-way mirrors. A 2015 book detailed the wild parties that took place there. Rudolph Valentino Rudolph Valentino, an Italian actor who dominated the Hollywood movie scene in the 20s, bought this Beverly Hills mansion for $175,000 in 1925, around $2.5 million today. He filled it with the rarest of collectibles, including ancient swords, antique furniture, and first editions of books. Valentino called the home the Falcon Lair, named after a film he hoped to make with then-wife Natasha Rambova. Unfortunately, she divorced him shortly after they moved into the mansion. Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks Silent film actress Mary Pickford and her then-husband, Douglas Fairbanks, spent just $35,000 on their now-famous Pickfair estate. They transformed the hilltop cabin into a 22-room mansion, later scaling up further to a whopping 42 rooms. Pickfair often hosted the biggest names of the era. The actress became a recluse later on in life, but reportedly still hosted parties and talked to her guests by telephone from her bedroom. Pickford lived here until her death in 1979. Here's where the Pickfair estate story gets even more interesting. In 1980, the property was sold to Los Angeles Lakers owner Jerry Buss for $5.3 million, who then sold it to Israeli businessman Meshalem Rickless for around $6.6 .6 million in 1988. Sadly, termites were discovered shortly after, so the entire estate was demolished and a mega mansion was built on the land. It was listed for, get this, $60 million. We are super excited about you watching our video and look forward to your continued support. It means the world to us. See you in the next videos.